What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today on the uh, 570 Gaming Edition, I brought you a brand new game. I've actually only played this twice so far. Um, I can kind of show you some of the things I've learned um, so far in the game. Uh, I'm up to level 15 as you can see up here. I have 1.6 million dollars and 262 gold. Uh, you use the money to buy either the robots and armament and upgrade them. The gold is to like, you can also buy um, armament and stuff like that, or you can like upgrade the ones that you current ha currently have without waiting, things like that. Um, I have been on like sort of a little mission because this is the robot you get in the beginning of the game. And uh, it's quick, but it's small, and uh, I seem to just be getting smoked. No matter how fast I go, uh, I seem to be just getting smoked by bigger robots. So, my plan is, with this 1.6 million here, I will show you. I'm going to go to the store, and I'm actually, as far as my level goes, I'm going to buy the most expensive robot and start with a good platform. Uh, it's a lot bigger. I assume it's going to be slower, but I assume it's going to be a lot more powerful. So 14k, 500k, 1.7 million, Leo, level 6. So that's what I'm going to be buying here uh, on our next win. You battle other robots with other players um, in sort of like a global situation. It's all random. Uh, your team against their team. There is beacons. See those beacons right there? Um, when the game starts, they're all white, which is neutral. You, um, My team's going to start showing up here. So looks like I got a bunch of quick guys. They're going to be making a dash for some of them beacons. Okay, so we got that guy going up there. Me and this guy will go around here, try to support each other. Um, if you get all the beacons, you see this little thing up at the top next to the time, that red thing? Um, whoever owns the most beacons, the other player's beacons will start to disappear. That little line, I mean. And once that line disappears, the game is over for them. You can lose by losing every one of your players. Or you can lose by um, the other team controlling all the beacons. That goes to say um, the same thing goes for winning. You can just basically destroy everybody else. Or you can run around quickly and capture all the beacons. Um, but the quick robots, see on the bottom, the blue destroy the red? That's good. The, um, the quick robots have no armor. What I've found so far is even though, and they can jump, um, even though um, having a quick robot is important in the beginning, uh, I feel like you can't get away anyways. So it's only important for a little while. See, I got two guys trapped right here. They're smaller compared to me. But they were both ganging up on me here. Looks like they're going to try to surround me. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the one that's going behind. Whoa, we got a couple of them behind me. He's got his shield in the front. I am toast. I got three guys bearing down on me. And no cover between us. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, see? That was one of my, my best robots, too. Let's see here. They took that beacon back. Let me see if I can sneak over there. We got three guys over there. I'm going to go over there with my guys and try to support them. Using this quick robot to maybe get in there and steal that beacon. Um, so the robots that you own, as long as you have inventory slots, you can have multiple robots. 
I bet you this guy is, is pretty big. I'm going to try to avoid him. I'm just going to run over there and try to grab that beacon. Um, the robots that you own are available for you for battle. So as you die, um, or the next robot that you have in your inventory becomes available. Um, so you, per se, need to get a good variety. You need a good team. Um, not just focus on some of the long-range attacks, uh, quickness, things like that. You want to really vary um, the type of robots that you have. So this one, for instance, is my quickest robot. Um, it's just the basic one that you get in the beginning of the game, like I said. So I haven't upgraded it to um, to do any jumping yet. But um, for right now, for right now, he's useful. I'll go up here try to steal this beacon. Um, red kill the blue. So even though um, we're starting to die, we can win this just by taking control of their beacons. So let me go up here and grab this red beacon here. And then once I have it, I'm going to go over there and grab that one. Okay, we're blue. I'm going to go over there and grab that one. I'm being shot at from behind, so I'm going to hurry up. So it looks like my partners are kind of worried about the same thing. I can see them all running for the beacons. As long as we have more beacons than them, that timer on their screen, you see up at the top, see how that red line is smaller than the blue line? Um, they're slowly running out of time. So I'm giving my buddy a hand here. And he is going out. And I just took control of that beacon, but I'm being shot from behind. So the one I just went for, I lost. But again, we're in control of more beacons than they have. So that timer will slowly start to go down. Is there somebody behind me? No. So it looks like the guys that I'm with have... Uh, Quickness, quickness in mind. I have a double set of uh, uh, chain guns, mini guns, so um, you know I can lay down a lot of firepower with this mini one. And I'm just gonna, if I die right here, I die right here. But I'm gonna empty every round into him. Hopefully, the team of us can get the win. Okay, we took him out. So now let's go forward. Let's go forward and take that beacon back. He's shooting the wall. He's he's behind cover, but I'm gonna go up there and get him. He's running. Let's see if my robot can go up there. Looks like it can. And we have won. Your team is won by beacon control. Um, so yeah, there's one way to win. Uh, obviously, if you win the match, you get more money than if you lose the match. That should put me over. See, I got 81. They want you to buy something here to get premium price. I'm going to attempt to um, play this game without spending a dime. Um, that's not characteristic of me, because uh, typically I spend uh, a lot of money on these mobile games. I guess, uh, you know, to some people the amount I spend would uh, be ridiculous, but to to uh, somebody like me, it's just a drop in the bucket, so it really doesn't bother me. Where is he? That's a big Oop, I'm past him. I'm level 15. Is that him? Nope. There he is. Let's see what Leo provides. Okay. Let's see what Leo has. Leo has a Pinata Punisher level 1. Let's see if I could switch that out. Let's 
So you got a bunch of spirals. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't want to go crazy yet. Do I need a shield? Hmm. Gecko is a light slot, long range laser weapon. I actually faced guys range 1100 meters. 750. I've actually faced guys with like three or four of them on there. So I would definitely consider um, owning one of them. Um, but 750, that's, all, that's quite a bit. 10k. Yeah, let's upgrade that. At least make my chain guns level 2 for now. Um, he's got one more weapon on him than I'm used to. My other robots have three weapons. He has four. And then one of my robots has two. So you know what? I'm just going to... Uh, take him out right now and see what he's got hopefully he comes in handy um sometimes like i'm the guy that dies first but when i look at like the team stats it seems like i end up with the most kills and then uh in turn get uh i hate this world um mainly because um yeah the robots that are even well that guy's on my team but like even the robots that are opposed to us um they're just huge they have those long range rockets they're firing uh laser weapons things like that just right now i'm pretty low level i have a hard time competing that guy looks like he's going for the same thing i'm going for so let's see if we can beat him to the punch. I'm getting some good hits on him. Ooh, we got a guy, a speed guy going for that. Yeah, I'm going to take his speed guy out. And this is what I was talking about. He can get these kills. His speed guy doesn't know what to do. He just jumped into a hornet's nest. So there might... My armament is overheated right now because I was killing that dude. We already got four beacons, so we're in a good spot. I'm going to kill this guy too. Boom, I got him. Yeah. Like I said, now their team is going to have multiple robots too. So once I break um, their flank, like I just did, I'm going to kind of spawn over here and get them when they first generate to kind of give uh, give my guys a little bit of advantage. Yeah, see they're spawning right there. I can kind of I can kind of uh, get the upper hand on them. This little guy wants some of me. You know what? You want some? Come get it. Nope, you ain't gonna get me. Now this other guy, ooh, another small one. See, I'm taking too much damage. Ooh, we killed each other at the same time. Nice. Time to bring out the big boy. Let's see here. He is a massive, massive monster. Let's see here. Let's go center. Let's go center and see what he's got. We have control of most of the beacons here. Damn. That's some firepower. Damn, I like 
like this guy. So far, I think he was worth the uh, 1.7 mil. I'm taking fire because I'm right in the middle of the battlefield. Who is shooting at me? This guy. God, I am going to destroy you, buddy. They are taking the beacons back. I got one guy going for that one. We have four beacons again. So I'll tell you what. So far, I love this game. Um, I wish you could communicate with your team members. Um, maybe you can. I don't know. Um, I also saw something where I reached a certain level to where I can join, create, or make a clan um, and have team members. So that is something definitely... I'd be interested. Ooh, that guy spawned right there. Oh, man, he's going to crush me. I just wasn't ready. My guns were overheated. Here he comes. We're going to meet in the middle. Ho, 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 ho. Man, he was close. So, Pix, Pixonic, Pixonic, you, uh... Game developers, whoever owns this game, it's actually a pretty fun game. I'm enjoying myself here. So yeah, so there's my oh, reach level 16. Uh, new new robots available. He has the ability to jump. Okay. Um, over here is like all the specials and stuff. Um, I'm not purchasing anything. So um, the better you do, the more you play, the more discounts you get on like. All the other things, so um, we will. Uh, let's see, I want to upgrade these machine guns. I don't mind spending my um, yeah, I'll do that. I don't mind spending my gold to hurry it along because um, um, I have another robot uh, itself upgrading so. You can only upgrade one thing at a time. So this robot is going to go to level 3 or 4. I forget. I'll look in a second. In 7 hours and 23 minutes. Or I could hurry it along for 116 gold. Um, but you can only upgrade one thing at a time. So um, if you're upgrading a robot, you can't upgrade any armament. It's, it's crazy. So this upgrade costs 155,000. Let's see what it says here. Uh, da, da, da. Upgrade one million. Is that what it said? One million? I don't know. That's a lot of uh, gold to be spending. Probably definitely worth it. Um, you can also paint them. Painting seems expensive too. I'm sure there's a lot of people... I'm sure there's a lot of people that enjoy um, putting a nice paint job on. But um, to me, if it ain't going to uh, if it ain't gonna benefit me, um, structure-wise, then I think it's unnecessary. So let's get back into another battle. Check the time right quick. 20 minutes. If you guys... um. Uh, I've been wondering what I've been up to. I've been, like, losing so much sleep. Um, just taking care of this new child. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I just haven't had a ton of time to do uh, very many videos. I am doing one tomorrow. Uh, it's going to have to do with um, the GoPro vehicle mount. And uh, because initially when I started my channel, I started with a um, knockoff. So we're going to talk about that, the difference between a knockoff vehicle mount and a GoPro um, name brand vehicle mount, and uh, the pros and cons to each one, and the price difference and things like that. And then we are going to, um, I'm going to uh, 
show my five favorite positions to place the camera on my car. So let's see here. I'm going to go for these beacons. It looks like my team members are engaging them in battle but not worried about the beacons. I got a guy up here sneaking. See, even though you can like kind of avoid the battle and sneak around, you really can't stay hidden because I can see through these walls. It's like even though he's over there, he's pretty far away, so I'm like hitting him, but I'm just not hitting him with every round. The closer you get, um, that's why when you're looking at like the armament and it tells you like the effective range, um, pay attention to that when you're um, in battle because um, if you're beyond the effective range for that armament, then obviously you're not going to hit him very much. Your percentage on uh, hitting him would be very low. So he's only 394. I can hit him. Yeah, damn, he's got that laser. I just want to get that beacon and get out of here. There's really no cover right here. Oh, get out of here. Oh, man, the laser charged up again. get out of here before that laser takes me out. He's up there in a bad spot, though. Okay, he's coming down. Looks like he's coming right at me, too. See, now, like, his laser um, can hit me from really far away. He knocked two of my guns off. His laser can uh, hit me from really far away. I actually have the advantage up close with my machine guns. Um, didn't think I was going to kill him, but I can tell you this: I uh, gave him a run for my run for his money here. So let's put this big boy in uh, danger here. Let's put him up high. Ooh, what do we got here? These worlds are pretty fun. I think that's the guy that just killed me. I'm going to take big boy out here. Um, he's going to hurt all my team members if I don't. As you can see, you, um, you can travel opposite of the direction or you can shoot opposite of the direction you are walking as any good robot should <laughs> um ooh, that big boy they are controlling the beacons so let me get in here see if i can get this beacon and kind of turn the tides here i'm probably really yeah there's a guy i was gonna say i'm probably really exposed right here Who's taking my beacon? Okay, him. I'm going to go over there and kill that guy. Yeah, I got a guy shooting me from behind. He's going to take that beacon back if I don't kill him. I got to concentrate on... Oh, there's another guy. He's a Leo just like me. He's just got that, uh, he's got that laser on him. Okay, I took him out. Oh, man. Get out there, guys. Like, these guys are too worried about defeating them in battle, not controlling the beacons. And if you don't hurry up, these guys will control the beacons. Your timer will run out, and it matters not how many of, you, of them you killed. It will all be for nothing. This is where the fight is, right here. Gotta get control. There we go, we got another one. Gotta get control of these beacons. We got to. That guy's pretty close. He's coming right at me. Okay, got control.
control of that one. Mata. He's he's the one I've been chasing for a little bit here. Again, I don't care if uh Eric no, somebody else killed him. I don't care if I die um before my other team members. Um because I'm going going right at them. They're gonna sit back and fire their rockets from the top of the hill and uh that's just not how I roll. Yeah, yeah, you better run up towards that beacon because here I come. He has little armament. I take him out real quick here. Okay, I took him out. Got no support, no support here. Oh, I gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. Pretty neat game, huh, guys? It's kind of got an element of a uh, strategy to it. Um, again, I wish you could, like, uh, set up some sort of chat and communicate verbally with your team members that would be cool he's just killing me I need some backup I need some backup I cannot take him on by myself okay I think he's engaged on somebody else no we're gonna lose this one we have more robots but we don't have control of the beacons. I'm going to go for broke here because we have no other choice. Yeah, I was taken out. Uh, so yeah, then the uh, while the rest of the players play, you can um, keep watching or you can leave leave the game. You can um, watch them cycle through the players um, and see their robots, things like that. It's actually pretty neat because uh, especially the ones that killed you or like you run into a guy that has like crazy wicked, um, you know, like upgrades and things like that and you're trying to figure out what the hell he's doing, that's how you do it. You know what? I'm going to finish him, make him a level three. We are going to... 155. I'm going to upgrade Leo here. Does that mean? Yeah. I have to spend... A million bucks? Yeah, I have to spend a million bucks to upgrade him like that? That's crazy. Let's uh upgrade another machine gun here. Sure, I'll speed it up. Now he has two level four miniguns. Well, he will in a second. Uh, yeah, I don't want to wait an hour. That's not me. Let's see if uh, upgrade two hundred thousand. Sure. Seems like you get gold pretty easy, so I'm not worried about it. Let's see what's available for the heavy. The ember. Ooh, it's a flamethrower. That's pretty cool. Uh, only work good up close. There's a heavy slot, long range revolver cannon, projectile accuracy, decrease it with distance, obviously that. Hmm, four rounds a second. The hell is this? It's a defense item. Does not protect against energy weapons. Oh, that's that shield thing I saw people having. Well, that's pretty cool. Thunder. Let's see, thunder is a firearm, one of the most effective weapons at short range. It will lack an accuracy. Oh, okay, that's that. Uh, it's like a shotgun. Can do. Super long range weapon, huge damage, single shot, difficult to utilize at short range. That's like a uh, ray gun. Uh, Zeus. Zeus is an energy weapon. 
reloads rapidly. Hmm. These are those rockets those guys like. <laughs> Trident is a missile weapon. Super heavy medium range weapon. Trebuchet. Synergy weapon. Fires bolts of high temperature plasma. How do you get trebuchet? Well, you gotta be level 20, it looks like. And you have to... Hmm. Well, that is pretty cool. So, let's just, uh, let's take my bots out there and, uh, do some more damage. Again, I'm not, I'm not spending any money on this game. I, uh, I got better things to, uh, spend my money on. Uh, upgrades for the car, things like that. Um, I got that call out coming up. I got a lot of things going that uh, I could utilize my money for. Yeah, let's go over there. I like to take the flanks out because once you, once you have your flanks, they either are forced to go center, or um, usually the guys that go to the flanks are smaller. Yeah, once you take your their flanks out, they're kind of forced to go center, and then you have mother balls. See, he's getting shot from multiple angles, so he is toast. Yeah, you can go for that beacon now, but you ain't gonna keep it. You are about to die, my friend. Boom. So I'm going to take this beacon back, and then I'm going to work on, I'm going to hit you from long range. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting too. I'm going to do what I said here, and uh, flank these guys. Yeah, I'm taking him out. Goat takes out another guy. Whoa, that guy snuck up on me. Let's take him out, too. He is the wrong kind of robot to be messing with me up close. He's a tiny little guy. And we got him from both ends. But he did turn this beacon white, so we're going to take that back real quick. I've taken a lot of damage. So, oh man, I'm right in the firing line again. This guy is going to kill me. Got me. Man, I'm on the wrong side here. Looks like they're trying to come over to the flank, so let's get over there and help these guys out. Yeah, they're taking that beacon back. Got my guy retreating. Don't retreat, stand your ground. Okay, we got one guy shooting long range. Let's see if we can get over here. Let's we'll see if we can get around them. Provide uh, some. That guy's in a good spot. Everybody that comes towards that beacon, he just pelts. And that's right on the edge of your boundary, so you're not allowed to go over anymore. Now, he's out in the middle here. I've taken a lot of damage, though. Yeah, we have multiple guys shooting at him. Looks like he's in some sort of lag or he's engaged in with somebody off to the side there and you can't see. Who takes him out? I didn't see you took him out. 
That was awesome. So we have four beacons to one. Let's um keep pushing forward, guys. Come on, keep pushing forward. Don't let them. Don't let them take them back. Don't let them take them back. Okay, they're losing the beacon battle. Oh, he just went around the building. As I'm still hitting them, I'll stay here and shoot at them from around the building here. It's like my little robot sniper. I'm not hitting them with those short rounds. I'm hitting them with the, uh, the those the long range. So I have a guy right there. I don't want to. I don't want to leave him hanging. Looks like we got this wrapped up. They got one more guy left. And he is, oh, he's running, he's running, he's running right towards me. And he is gone, I toasted him. Okay, he had another guy, he's spawning. <laughs> and we won on beacons, nice. Oh, let's see here, I wonder if you can get the same team more than once. Let me see here. Challenge in progress. Battles left. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see what we see here. A team. See how I uh, killed four of them? And I haven't been playing this game very long. I mean, I'm just naturally good at games, so you could say, but uh, I haven't been playing this game very long. I can't believe I've been playing it for 37 minutes. I'm going to end the stream here, and uh, we're going to get back to this game at another time. Uh, it's definitely fun. We're going to see how uh, far I can progress. But uh, enjoy, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe.